All right, gang, boy, do I have a weird show for you guys today. Throw the intro. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday. Uh, as you know, if you watch the channel, I upgraded my no-name Amazon seats to Braum Racing seats. I put these Amazon seats in my car, geez, five and a half years ago. Uh, and at the time, they were kind of new to the markets or new to people putting them in C5s, okay? And there's been a lot of controversy uh, around these seats. Long story short, they're not regulated by any government agency. They're no name, or they were no name for a few years. I think Icon or something has bought the rights to them, but still, uh, they're made in China with all Chinese parts. Uh, a lot of people will not run them because they're not safe. Well, why did I run them? If you look at a C5 seat, it's very chintzy. I'll put a little uh, picture here of the frame of a C5. I mean, next to a folding lawn chair, uh, they're very similar. So I had no problem running the Amazon seats. They felt stout enough. I'm not trying to sell you on them or not sell you on them, but because I've upgraded, now I have two Amazon seats. Uh, and one of them, the driver's side especially, the seat back is kind of floppy now. The tracks have a lot of play and some of the bolstering where my legs go, uh, some of the material is hard to push through. So I'm gonna sacrifice one. I'm gonna tear it completely down with a razor, as far as I can go down to the frame. This is not a video to say they're good or bad. I'm just gonna tear it down and you make your own uh, decision whether or not you wanna run these things. Uh, if you have another pair of seats that are certified, and if you want to take some of this video, that's fine. Just give me a little plug or say, hey, this is from my video. I don't care. Yeah, I'm curious to see, too, what's in these things. Are they aluminum? Are they steel? I don't think they're magnesium. Some kind of other material. I'm really curious to see all the hardware components where they meet, all the hinges and stuff, what that looks like. And if someone else out there has um, links or pictures to... Uh, a Carbo, a Recaro, a Brahm seat, we can kind of uh, compare, if you will. So yeah, I'm gonna take my time and we're just gonna tear it down. This is kind of weird to me because I'm used to uh, installing stuff, building stuff, fixing stuff, so it's kind of unique to where I'm destroying something. I will have one seat left over on the passenger side. That one's in pretty good shape. The seat back's pretty stiff still on that one. Uh, the slides are pretty good. I probably sell it for 30 bucks if you're local here in Hampton Roads. So let's go over the seat and start Tearing it apart. All right, here's the seat in question. It's not in bad shape for the price for 170. I don't know if here's it's a 15,000 miles on it. That's it. Uh, let me show you what I mean by the seat back wobble. It's just a lot more than I wanted, and some material is starting to come through. And the slides have like an eighth inch of play in them. It kind of drives me nuts. Uh, this is what I upgraded to the Brom. As you can tell, the Amazon seats copied a lot from Carbo Brom and um, Recaro. In any case. I'm going to put you down, and we're going to start cutting into this guy down to the frame. Kind of weird, right? Well, let's get to it. All right, guys. I'm just going to go for it around the edges here. There's a zipper in the back, but you can't really access it. Now, I kind of waste all night trying to be nice to this thing, you know what I mean? Cuts very easy. Wow. All right, we'll pause every so often. It's the kind of foam they use. Not terrible. Little wire rods back here to keep all the stuff in place. See it right here? This is what's starting to poke out right there. Looks steel. All right, let's keep it going.
probably start peeling off the foam now. Cool, this is just kind of one, two pieces that sandwich together. All right, guys, there it is, the skeleton. It really took my time to get all the foam off so we could see the welds. Some are okay, some are questionable. Down here, these look pretty good. Not too bad about that. Not great, not bad. Um, some are sloppy. Again, where the seat back meets the, uh, uh, the bottom, they look really good. Interesting. Oh, another cool thing is that a piece of wood back here that all of the fabric in the back would cr come together and staple to that. Uh, those that know about seats and reseats, is that normal? I have no idea. Um, let me show you some more here. If you're curious, I kind of want to keep this and uh, just really get it really clean. I don't know what to do with it, but it's kind of neat. And the whole thing is steel, by the way. Well, how do you know it's steel, Mark? Well, aluminum is not magnetic, and everything on here is magnetic. I don't think it's iron. But yeah, every piece is magnetic. So this whole thing is steel. I don't know if it's good or bad. I will be honest. This is a lot more fortified than what I thought. I think where most people thought these were uh, unsafe is where the seat back meets the bottom. And just you guys tell me, is that normal? You know? This side, it bolts up right there. This side, it has a hinge up there. And that's how it's connected. But yeah, these welds look really good. Some are good, some are bad. I feel like uh, a machine did it, some of it, and uh, other pieces, it was just free-handed. Um, and how they made it, they make the skeleton in the frame, and they uh, mold injected all the foam around it. It was a pain to get off, oh my gosh. Oh, another thing I thought interesting was the uh, the tack welds that hold the, um, I guess the, the bolt holes or the receptacles for the sliders. So all four of these are tack welded on from both sides, it looks like. That could be a point of failure, but again, I don't know the protocol on uh, making seats, so please let me know. Each one's got two points. Interesting. But there you go, guys. We'll get the other one next to it. But yeah, if you guys, or someone watching this, uh, can give us your insights on how you, what, what you think. This isn't a video saying these are good, these are bad. This is simply kind of a PSA showing people what you get with the Amazon seats, all right? If someone legit qualified, not just some keyboard warrior sees this and like these are so unsafe, uh, please let us know. Or if you think, you know what, for the price, not too bad. I'm leaning towards for the price, not too bad. Uh, if the seat back wasn't as wobbly and then the, uh, the slides held up better, maybe it would have kept them. I don't know. But there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Feel free to ask questions. I will keep this for a while. So if someone watching this has a question about it, I can reference it for you or take detailed pictures for you. No problem at all. All right, guys, that's all I got for tonight. The next video coming in the pipeline 
is the exhaust and we're gonna do a full paint correction on the C5. I'll see you then. All right guys, take care, mark out.